like your last meal. Can we give the elephants a better meal? Oh, yeah. No, we can't. Not yet. We need to research the elephants to, to help give them a better quality meal. Right now, we're just giving them, like, the baseline. Oh, my gosh. Wait, pause. Look at this. Look at this scene. So, at the Bengal Tiger place, this is a restraint feeder. So, they just tie, like, a big shank of an animal onto this board. And Gandalf, the Bengal Tiger, is going to town on this thing. He is in heaven. He's like, you're just hanging this meat here. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, my God. He growled. Now he's walking away now. He's like, man, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Typical cat. Not impressed. Now, Galadriel is drinking merrily from the fountain. Oh, the enrichment's no good. You want some more food enrichment? Okay, we can do that. Let me build in the habitat. And we're going to change the species to a Bengal tiger. And they want some more food enrichment. So, um, let me build one of these frozen pumpkins for you and another pinata. And you guys should be just tickled. The problem is they destroyed the pinata. All right. Money's coming back in. Let me check this habitat. We still have this alert. Maybe it's because there's too many camels? Maybe they want more females. I don't know. The feeders are not full. What's going on with these feeders? They need to... Uh, the keeper needs to get over here. Maybe I need to hire some more keepers. Let me look at my staff situation. Keepers. How many we got? Yeah, we need more keepers for sure. All right. Let's get there. Let's get there, keepers. You are in the zoo entry work zone now. And you land from the heavens... And you're going to go to work feeding. This is the uh, keeper that's cleaning up the poop with the vacuum. This is um, my man, Abel Hook. And now, oh my, that's a lot of poop. Time to clear up the camel corral. That's right, buddy. Now he's done. He might be going on a break. His energy is over. So, yeah, he's got to go on break time. When you train up the staff, their energy levels get better, I think. They get more efficient at their job so they can work longer. All right, so let me pause it. Oh, you're right, Neo. And yeah, sometimes the animals like um, crazy male to female ratios. Oh, Brew, that's great news. I'm glad your fever broke. God, you were really sick. You were, like, just thinking it was an excuse to get out of work, and then you started getting real sick. I hope you feel better, my friend. So, to Neo's point, the hippos, for example, are animals that like a harem, and so they want, like, one male for, like, 15 females. It's crazy. All right, let me look at this, and I could tweak this by going to the animals and then clicking on Sally and seeing what's going on with Sally, and then just, you know, she should be okay. She is okay. The animal's welfare is super happy, so I don't know exactly what the problem is. Yeah, you're right, Neo. They want more adult population. So if I can get some more um, female adults, this would be a better situation. So what we can do is go to animal trading, and we can look for... Um, Dennis is a male, and I can release Dennis for 73 conservation points. And I think I will. I'm just going to release him to the wild and say, Dennis, thanks so much for being a part of our zoo. 
and then we're going to get some more camels. We're going to go back to animal trading. We're going to go to the market. We're going to research. Um, I want camel, and we want female camels. And so, um, like this, let me look at you. Well, your stats aren't great. Fertility is good, though. <laughs> that would be awesome, Brew. He's just chilling downtown Tokyo. They would love it. They'd be like, you know, who wouldn't? Immunity is bad. You kind of look at their um, genetics and breeding. You want these to be in the green. These aren't the finest of animals, but that's good. I'll take one more camel. That's right, Neo. I'm sorry. Times are tight. Budgets are tight. And you're going to have to go back out into the wild. All right. Let's see how this is doing. The frog poison palace is okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. Maybe in, in Gilinor they are. But here... They're nice. I want them to be nice anyway. All right. Now, what I wanted to check was I wanted to pause it and go over here and investigate the habitat and look at the animals and see if they're getting stressed out at all. No, elephants don't really care about being viewed. So this sturdy glass is going to be just fine. Some animals are shy and they don't want to be looked at all the time, but elephants are not. But they want more hard shelter. So I can do that. They probably like each want their own. So we're going to duplicate this um, to give them some more hard shelter. All right, so let's see if this, like, satisfies their need for hard shelter. Yep, now they're all in the green. Hard shelter, terrific. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Well, then elephants must love people because I love dogs. All right, we've just researched salmonella. Good. We're doing the elephant. Let's see, what else do we want to research? Let's go ahead and knock out... Um, another disease. Uh, geez. All right, Listerosis, go for it. Yeah, see, I hope not. I hope I that uh, camels are nice. Release one African elephant to the wild for 2,000. Wow. Wow. I don't really need money, so I'm not going to jump on that. But that's a thing we could do. Okay. So now we've got people chilling in the zoo. Let's look at how they're doing. Actually, their needs are way better. Do I have any speakers? I don't think that uh, I have any speakers talking about the elephants, just the screens. So we're going to need to go to facilities media devices and start throwing up some educational speakers to give people the lowdown on elephants. Unfortunately, this is bad planning on my part, but if you do this when you have um, habitats kind of cross paths, people will get confused um, because you're, my speaker is broadcasting information about the Bengal tiger, but they might be standing here looking at the elephant and wondering why that is. So... Usually, you don't want to have viewing lanes so close together. That's my fault. Noob zoo mistake. I apologize. All right, let's go to elephant. And let's get these speakers on elephants. This one, 
is going to be on Elephant. And let's look at its range of coverage. So... That makes sense, Christy. So, like, the camels are fine, but if you treat them badly or don't know what you're doing, they can be nasty to, to work with. I buy that. They're like, dude, what are you doing? That's not how you handle me. No power over here, though, huh? All right. Let me look at the power area. All right. Then... They're kind of like llamas. Okay. Well, I do like llamas, too. All right. You're getting power now. So let me go back to your volume. And... We don't want these to overlap, so we can turn that one down. There we go. No, we don't need this anymore. Okay. Uh, let me see, where is this one going? Good. Elephant. We can turn this one down then. All right, there we go. This should be better education-wise for people. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Brew. Tina, eat your food. All right, Bengal Tiger. We're getting better on Bengal Tigers. We're going to keep researching them, max them out. Okay. So I'm back up to 30,000. Every time I get to 30,000, I'm going to start going on um, Operation Decoration. Now, I want to um, duplicate this structure, and we can then uh, build one, like, right here for the hot dog place. And we can kind of try to make these connected, almost, so that they look intentionally placed. Let me see how this looks. It looks good. There's a little bit of clipping through the roof, but it's okay. All right, perfect. Now, I need some more conservation boards to raise uh, education up. So we can build like a conservation board here. Uh-huh. And we're going to change the topic from bee population to traditional medicine. Good. Oh, look at this. Elephants are mating. Oh, my God. It's Jar Jar and Sai Snoodles. This is very intimate. They are walking through each other. That is how elephants reproduce, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Did you reproduce? Or is that poop? What happened? What's happened? Yeah, it's a lot of poop. Elephants make... Now watch, this dude's gonna clean it up. Abel, look at his vacuum. Watch him go. Boom. Poop's gone. Took care of it. Yeah, we don't want poop babies. We want elephant babies. The poop's gone. Maybe the romantic moment can come back. Let's see. Did you get pregnant? Um, let's check the habitat. No, it didn't happen. I don't think the magic happened. Yeah, those vacuums are intense. It can just sweep up poop like it's nothing. Alright, I'm gonna um, pause it. And they're saying that they don't have enough food habitat. So, um, I'm sorry. Food enrichment. So let me give them another one, like right here. 
and see if that helps. Yeah, they were, right? And they were just like, this is going great. And then Jar Jar was like, sorry. I've got to go to the bathroom. Spoiled it. Man, there's a lot of traffic right here. Goodness gracious. I need to uh, maybe put some stuff down here for people to do. Things for people to buy. I could wrap this path all the way around and eventually connect it. Um, and maybe give people some viewing areas here. But it's right at the edge. So, <laughs> oopsie poopsie indeed. So I'm not too keen on it. Um, what is this? Can't find an accessible... Oh. Vet Research Center. Okay. So the staff are starting to complain about... There's not a vet research center right now, basically. How many vet research places do I have? This I, I have two. I need one more. All right, so let me move this big tree um, to kind of like over here. And then let me duplicate this. Eventually, this is the staff village. You have to build the staff area like way far away from everyone else because it it's negatively impacts... Um, the guests, they don't want to see it. They're like, I, we don't want to know how it happens, how the sausage is made. Don't tell us. There we go. And let me go to... But what I like to do... Oh, what something just happened. I don't know what that was. Um, maybe a research got completed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They completed elephant research. Great. Let me go there in a second and change that. What I'm going to do eventually to save space is I will build a second level and just stack. You can stack these buildings. And so you stack the buildings up on top of them and then build like ramps and walkways and then the negative sphere of influence for the impact on guests, which is this red, will stays in the same space. And so you can really maximize. All right, anyway, let me go to zoo. And we're going to go to staff, and we're going to go to work zones, and we're going to um, edit this work zone to include this staff place. So the research facility for them, and we're going to just unpause it, and then this person will find a place to do research. This vet will find a place to do research. Now I'm going to pause the game, and we can... Oh man, look at this. Look at the sun coming up over here. This game is just so attractive. Look at the sun ray as it reaches across the shadows like creeping over as the dawn breaks and Amidala takes a bath in the big lake. What we can do for our animals here is increase their food quality. No, we can't. I think you have to get to level three knowledge uh, to increase their food quality. That's a shame. All right, never mind. I lied about that. I was going to make give them better food to make them happier, but we're not there yet. Okay, so let's just Check on it. Every once in a while, you got to check in on all your habitats. The barrier status is 95. Um, yeah, we need to have the mechanic come every three months and the vet come every month. And the bangle bin. What's the, what's the status here? Every month, every month, every month. Great. Um, did we get that other female? No, no, no. She needs to go to the zoo. Send to the zoo. Yeah, they, they had female camel needs to go right there there we go perfect now in the camel corral we do have one two adult females and we have some juvenile males when these other when these juvenile males grow up they're going to have to go either into another habitat or we just release them into the wild oh boy we're at 40,000 everybody 40,000 means it is time to beautify this um, central hub for commerce. So you can see that these buildings look awful. So we're going to go into blueprints and I'm going to just filter um, brand and I want, uh, not brand, I'm sorry, theme, new world, please. I'm going with the new world theme and I'd like um, do we have... Yeah, first of all, this toilet is amazing. Look at this New World toilet that we can replace the existing toilet with. Looks great. 
We'll get there, though. Right now, what we need is... Oh, my God. This zoo entrance is 151000 That's very expensive, but I see it matches. All right, this is a large shop shell. And I want to see if I can get this to fit. So I'm going to push Z to rotate. And let's see if we can fit both of these shops comfortably inside here. It's not perfect, right? But it looks really, really close. That looks sick. Okay, so now these two shops have a fantastic exterior. We're going to do that again. And we're going to build just a small shop exterior on this one. And I'm going to try to overlap the posts so that they look like somewhat like they're connected, if I can. No, Christy, I did not know. There's a hybrid camel and llama. What's it called? A clama? I just made that up, by the way. That's not a good guess, but it would be kind of cool. Like the, they have the liger, right? So clama is not outside the realm of possibility. Now, look how much better this area is looking. It's costing a lot of money to do this. Um, the large shop is outrageously... The blueprint for that is so expensive. The small shop is, like, super cheap. Comma. Nice. I love that. I gotta Google some pictures of that. All right, I'm gonna drop this right here. And then... Now, oh, you made it up? Well, that's very clever. I like the name. Our central commerce zone has just been beautified to the extreme. It looks so super modern. I love this. Now, we need to start throwing in some nature. Um, so, let me get my favorites on here. Um, what is this bear? Yeah, this bush looks sweet, actually. Let's put some of these in. Oh, it's not made up. It's called comma. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Well, guess what? If Planet Zoo allows me to get commas and these like hybrid animals, I would do that so quickly. I'm going to put in these bushes because they look sweet. And just kind of put a natural flare into this space. Make it just bristle with life. There. Yeah, you can really make this game pop if you get crazy and just spend a bunch of time putting bushes and things everywhere, which... I like to do. Oh, this one's bigger. I like it. And then we can throw in this down here. It's kind of getting caught up on the... There we go. Yeah, see? So, if you... There we go. Now we're getting there. Is there a smaller one of the of these uh, bear berries? Let me look. No. By the way, I got to put in some of these trees. These trees are... I don't know if they work in Japan, but I just love the way that these trees look. They are hilarious. These are like quintessential African trees, maybe. But I did click on Asia, so that's like my continent. But I, I just love how these look, especially this one. Like, look at the big trunk on these things. I mean, that is the biggest trunk... A camel is a hybrid between a male dromedary camel and a female llama, and the first one was born in 1998. Well, there you go. That is amazing. I learn something new every day. I love this. How does this blackthorn bush look in combination with some of this other stuff? It looks kind of cool. We can put like we can put a blackthorn bush kind of off. 
over here. It's nice and tall. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that looks good. I can put one, I can put a blackthorn bush, like, in, in here somewhere. Yeah. No, not, oh, that's up and down, my fault. I'm trying to, yeah, I need the blue arrow. Yeah, here we go. That's what I want. Raise it up, raise it up. Don't make it fly, but, um... Yep, and then to get that blue arrow again. Mm, hard to get the blue arrow sometimes. There we go. And then just scooch it back here. There we go. It's just popping out a little bit. Like it. All right. Oh, no, never mind. I got to um, kill it because it's popping through the back wall of the frog habitat. Looks weird. Okay. So now... This little thoroughfare is starting to be something that people tell their grandkids about because they've brought their grandkids in there nearby. We gotta make the toilet really pop. People love a beautiful toilet. Speaking of toilet, blueprint, blueprint. Oh, I'm in a nature screen, so it won't show me. Um, let's get that new world toilet going. Where did it go? I lost it. Oh my God, what is this? New world building? Um, oh, here it is. All right, let's put this New World Toilet on top. Actually, no, what we do is we just change this. Um, we delete this and make a new one. It, this is not a shell. It's just another toilet that you build. All right, let me zoom out and just kind of try to get it to fit here. There. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're writing an animal's book? Awesome. I love animals, too. Let me look at this. Oh, my God. The New World Nature scene. It's got, like, Bambi. We can't have that, but we can definitely have this. This looks kind of cool. People can come and see. This is huge. Good God. Um, now, these are a little bit big. These prefab nature scenes, but they're funny. Alright, so we have this glistening new world look. We've got bushes. We've got animals. Let's get in here. And let's keep making this space amazing. Let's go back to nature. Let's click the favorites, and let's just put in some more of these bushes here to... Just make the space overflow. You know what I'm putting in right here. I can't wait. It's going to be um, an amazing rock. There's got to be a boulder that's right here. Mossy rock. Oh my god, that's too big. Mossy rock. No, nah, it's still too big. Um getting there. That's a good rock. Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna um, X, and I'm gonna actually lower it a bit, and then put it back here. Oh, man, look at that rock. People are gonna tell their friends about the rock they saw at our zoo. Moss covered majesty. Look at that. And it perfectly blocks their view 
of the Tigers because we don't want them getting free looks at the Tigers. They need to come over here by the donation box and make it rain. All right. Let's start um, throwing in these over here. This mossy rock is sweet. Yeah, look at this. We could put this mossy rock right here, and we just X, and we just lower it. Like, it doesn't need to be quite as massive. And then it can go over here, and then X again to rotate it, and then X again to slide it, and then, yeah, like this, kind of. Actually, I can lower it even more. Uh-huh. And then what we can do is just throw some of these bushes around it. And we have ourselves just a beautiful area. This is what I end up doing in this game. As I spend hours and hours just doing this very small detail work of throwing in bushes everywhere. Where's this? There's another um, one of these bushes. I gotta find it. Here we go. Um, yeah, there's a medium and then there's a small. And we could even try these out. Like if I wanted this particular I could do a lineup or I could do, you know, the medium and the small. We could put like a small one just growing on the edge of this rock for fun. One right here. Now we're talking. All right. That's right, Neo. I love... Oh, look at this. You see this little strip right here? This matches this perfectly. It just goes right there. Yeah, Christy, I love doing this. It's just like we can line this bathroom with these so that people will appreciate this bathroom. I'm going to move this cherry tree um, because it's kind of in the bathroom right now, so we're just going to move it out here. Now. So, one of the things I always like to do is just go back to the beginning of the zoo and then you can do this entry look. Like, what would it look like if you're walking into the zoo? And you see all of this happening here. And you can go over here and rotate. Oh, let me raise it up a little bit. And then you turn the corner. I mean, look, if you saw this, look how good this game looks with the sun coming through, the haze, the lens flare, the trees. You would think, I'm going to spend thousands of dollars at this zoo. Now, we need to start building some better shops for these people merchandise shops we just don't have enough right and we could build just a memento hats fantastic and looney bloons absolutely we need all of these so we have food and drink but now it's time to get into people's pocketbooks more significantly by building a balloon shop just a memento and a hats fantastic and one of my favorite things about the game is that um Gosh, it really does, doesn't it, Brew? I mean, this game, I don't think they had a COVID patch where it was like everybody six feet apart with masks on. This is people shoulder to shoulder in a full-on crowd that, you know, you're just, this is what going to the zoo is normally like in the uh, food court or whatever. If you purchase um, th these if, if you put down these hat and balloon shops, if the people go to the shop, then they will carry around the balloons or wear the hats while they're at the zoo. It's so it's such a good touch, just like the hot dogs that we saw. All right, so I'm going to throw in um, back here. I think we can fit in in this back area. Oh, the toilet kind of is a little bit larger, and it's stuck out a bit onto this path. Um, I might need to move this. Let's see if I can just shift it. 
so it's forward more. No, they don't want me to do it forward more. I have to kind of do it like that, huh? That's too bad. All right. Well, then we're back to this, and the path just goes through. So it's a little weird looking. It's getting framey. Oh, I don't know. Okay, thanks, Brew. I don't know what's going on. I might be doing some intense stuff here. Let me check, click on this path. And we're just going to go to this path here. And I need to make it a little bit narrower. Um, I'm going to have to delete the path. Path. Delete path. Here. Yeah, it is a lot going on in this space. You're right about that. I'm going to connect this, but I, I want it to be a little bit shorter of a path. I'm sorry, not shorter. That's not the right word. Narrower. I don't want it to be quite as wide. So that it can pass behind the, the toilet and not be obstructed. I think you're right, Neo. That makes sense. So if I zoom out, it might be a little bit less intense. Okay. Let's go into facilities and then let us buy the hats fantastic and drop it in right. Um, how far back can we go with this? Kind of want to go like to here so that people can queue up. We're going to buy a loony balloons as well. And we can put this right here and we're just going to move this tree get this tree out of the way it's so such a cool thing in this game you can just pick up a tree and be like yeah that's not going to work for me where you're at tree um can you move over here okay great now we just need to go into zoo and go to work zones and edit the work zone to include uh, the new toilet and the new buildings that we built there. Oh, cool, Christy. Yeah, I love playing this game. Speaking of zooming out, it's always fun to just take a, a look at the zoo from overhead. This is how big it's become. This elephant exhibit is basically as big as our zoo itself, but elephants are big and they require a lot of space. So that's kind of what's going on there. Let me unpause it and get people working at these uh, memento shops. Go into blueprints. Let me build a new world shop. Like that. Look at this. Immediately, people are buying balloons. Oh, we got the new animal arrived at the zoo. Terrific. Okay, perfect. Vet research complete. Okay, we got some disease work done. It's all good. We don't want our animals to get sick. All right. How's it going in the animal in this world? I don't know what the... What the issue is. Two juveniles, three females, and three males. Okay. Now we're starting to lose money, and now here it comes back up again. Everything here is going well. Education is even going up. Oh, look. Look at this, everybody. Oh, my God. They are intertwining tusks. It is like a safari park, Brew. I mean, because I've got all these, like, safari animals. Oh, look at this tender displays of affection between these animals. They are about to mate, everybody. Let's see if it happens. Let's see if the magic happens. The inspector is at the zoo, by the way. I don't know if it happened or not. Oh, she's pregnant. Amidala is pregnant. Yes, we're about to have elephant baby. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, if you're not familiar with the game, but 
<laughs> yeah, he does. Don't ask, Brew. Don't ask about that bucket. When you have babies in this game, every animal has an appeal rating, which makes people happy, makes people want to come to your zoo, give more money to your zoo. Babies' appeal are like through the roof. So elephants are already very high appeal. So a baby elephant is going to be like people make the trip to the zoo just to see that. Okay. We're, we're back up. Money is coming back in. Let's see if anybody's going to these shops. Oh, yes. People want to buy stuff here. Speaking of people want to buy stuff, let's put in um, guest facilities all. And let's just throw an ATM right here. See, Brew? Exactly, right? In, I mean, I would think about that as well. All right, the ATM is here. Let me change the colors of the ATM. There we go. Pink all day. See, look, pause. If people buy hats, they wear these, like, funny hats around. This guy's got the hyena hat. We've got the spider hat going. And then these people have purchased balloons, and so they're going to carry those around at the zoo and have a great time. We got four stars of happiness. Marketing's good. Guest happiness is good. Our education is going up, but it could be better. So we'll see what we can do about that. Man, that bit. Not too many people have paid, put money into that one. This this donation box has collected $1,000. Pretty slick. $303 at that donation box? Come on now. Ooh, almost two grand here. That's a, that's a big winner. Oh, we finished some research. Oh, Bengal Tiger. Now we're talking. So we're getting to the point where I've redecorated a lot. I've been kind of spending a bunch of money on just beautifying the zoo, making it look really, really sharp in the middle. But um, now I think it's probably time for us to maybe consider uh, a new animal for the zoo. Oh, my gosh. There's just poop everywhere. Oh, no. Man, elephants poop a lot. We're going to need to just put a team of employees on the poop cleanup there. This habitat's good. This habitat's good. Oh, good idea, Brew. Let's look at that. So we'll go to animal trading. We will go into the market. And we're going to just check for um, giraffe. Reticulated giraffe. So here's the giraffes right here. They cost about 541 conservation points. Maybe less if you get a, a less desirable one. But they're, they're a little bit expensive. Let's see if we can get one that's not expensive. All right, we can adopt... No, uh, that's 800. That's kind of pricey. So we're going to keep our eyes on giraffes for sure. She's good. She's 315. Yeah, get her. And then get a male giraffe. This one's fine. They're cheap. So those are cheap giraffes. So when you don't have a whole bunch of stuff, sometimes you got to get a cheap giraffe. Vet research complete. African elephant. Yes. So what that means is we can go to the African elephant exhibit and we can give them better food. Grade two quality food. There you go. Unpause it. This should pop up to a two with our knowledge. Okay, Neo, thanks so much for stopping in. You have a good day as well. Actually, on that note, I believe it's time for me also to go eat lunch and run errands, but 
it's been a blast just building out the zoo with you guys and hanging out. Everyone, thank you so much for stopping in for this short little daytime stream of Planet Zoo. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. Brew, I hope you get better. Neo, have a good day. Christy, have a great one. G, have a good day, my friend. Thank you. You too. Take care, everybody.